welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time i'm priyanka and i make videos about everything so this video is about medical in canada this is something that has been long due and given the light of the situation we are in right now with the whole pandemic and international students migrants everywhere i think this video is going to help some of you get an idea now these are my personal experiences and it's not something that i am imposing on you guys or uh, showing that it's going to be like that but somewhere down the line um what i have observed is this and this is what has happened to me so far so last summer i got a wart in my feet so many of you know that i went to alberta on a backpacking trip for like 20 21 days and when i came back uh because of constant walking and putting pressure on certain pressure points on my feet i got a wart on my feet and i got it specifically on my thumb now during this entire period i was having my internship and it gets and i had to walk to the internship every day because it was kind of near to my house not very near but kind of near to my house so i did not take the metro i used to walk and come back again and since it was so hot and you won't believe how hot montreal actually gets because of the humidity and everything the light is changing please excuse it so it used to get really hot and it used to sweat and everything it was getting so in general very unhygienic and the wart was growing and the wart was literally 1.5 centimeters deep i'm not even kidding i have pictures i cannot show it it's very gross so during this time it was getting very difficult for me to walk to stand for a longer period of time because it used to pain and what happened was that i started standing like this so i had started keeping my toe up and now this wrecked my entire posture my back started hurting my calf started hurting now you might be wondering why did i not just go for a doctor because in india wart removal is for only 15 rupees now starts my entire journey so when i was doing an internship first of all i was doing an internship i was not allowed to go to my university medical services that what i did was i went to this quebec santé and now quebec santé is are these health clinics that are everywhere else first of all if you go over there you usually it's a walking clinic and the first person to consult or to talk is with a nurse so the nurse does the first consultation and then comes the doctor when she refers you to them so if there is no need they just talk to you and let you go with some basic medicines or otc or some basic general advices but what happened was that if you go for a walk in clinic you minimum have to wait for at least 3 to 4 hours now 3 to 4 hours first of all you have to wait so obviously you have to go on a weekend because weekdays you work and they also have very specific timings of consultation so i went on a weekend i had to wait for 5 hours not bad because everyone thinks that way they also came there and now when i went inside the nurse took a look and said she is going to refer me to a doctor i was very happy because we are moving forward now when did i get my appointment so i went in june after all of this debacle i went in june i got an appointment for july end for a wart removal very bad what happened in this one and a half months is that i got bandages i got different type of socks because it was affecting my circulation so i had to get compression socks i got different bandages i got the acid to burn the wart out and it it kind of started burning the skin and i was not feeling very comfortable with the chemical itself and so much happened that the entire leg started to swell and get red not kidding real story i have pictures very gross so this happened and then what happened is that i get the doctor's appointment i am very happy that finally the doctor is going to do some cryography method or something of that sort and just take the wart out i am wrong so the doctor examines the wart tries to take the measurement of the wart and says right now since you are wearing a shoe we won't remove the wart and i was like i will walk bare feet i will ask my friend to get a shoe or a slipper whatever you want i will sit here for 3 hours and then walk out because this is literally impossible it is so much in pain you get it done in india for 15 rupees and in 10 minutes it's the problem is over 
but he was like no 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 we cannot do it we cannot take a risk you can sue us and i was like i won't sue you i will give it to you written in any sort of paper you want right now that i am not going to take any action against this and he was like no this is not possible so i get another appointment luckily this time the appointment is only three weeks after that so after three weeks i go to the doctor wearing the footwear that he has recommended he carried out the entire thing and he said the wart is very deep and i was like i know and he was like, why didn't you come here before? I was like, Ulta Chor Kotwal Kodate. And he was like, huh? And I was like, nothing. It's just something we say in our language. That's it. It's something about procrastination. And he was like, no, no, that's not good and everything of that sort. And I was like, I do understand that. Um, how much time do you think this is going to take to recover? He said, this will be done in three sittings. And I was like, what? Because each time it burns and it hurts like hell. So this is completely down the line towards August we are shifting. So something that I had in May, we are going towards August. Now towards August end, what happened was I got my second sitting. I was like, fine, at least we are moving forward. So when I go for my second sitting, I am sitting there. The doctor has an emergency. He has to leave. I have to understand that because of course, I have to understand that. And as a human, I do understand that. But as someone who lacks time and is in pain, it was too much to take. And mind you, a nurse is not allowed to do that. Here we go again. It's the university. I'm very happy. I can use my medical again. Boom, boom. Let's start. So I go to this entire medical clinic in my university and I speak to the receptionist that Quebec Santé has already carried out two of my procedures. I just need one more procedure. Let's get it done. What she says, very wonderful thing, you have to go through the nurse again. I'm like, why? The doctor did that. I have the medical report for it. You can ask. And all the hospitals over here have a centralized database system over here. So whatever happens, it's always presented in my medical card. So they can check my medical history and I can skip the nurse. Technically, I can skip the nurse. And she was like, no, but that was a long time ago. What if something has happened? I was like, exactly. What if something has happened? I should be seeing a doctor, not a nurse. And she was like, no, that's not possible. So again, I wait for three hours. Again, I wait for three hours. And then I go to the nurse. When I go to the nurse and she says, no, this is getting, this is not looking good. You need to see a doctor. I was like, yes, I have to see a doctor. Thank you for understanding that. So again, I get an appointment two weeks after that. Now, this doctor is literally my favorite doctor. He's a university doctor. I won't name him for his privacy, but he is one of the best doctors I've seen in my life. So I go to this doctor after two weeks. He carries out the procedure. It's things like a bee. Mind you guys, the nitrogen hits like hell. And this is happening. And then he says that the wart actually has very deep roots. And I was like, shit, now what? He was saying that even if I'm removing it from the surface, the roots are still growing and I was like you do two three sittings today and he was like if I do that you won't be able to walk and I was like uh oh now what so he gives me an appointment a week after that so this is technically my fourth appointment I go for my fourth appointment and I try to remove that thing not I mean the doctor tries to remove that thing again he says there is one more sitting left so towards October mid my ward is finally out now it took me two three weeks to recover and then after it recovers you kind of ha uh, the doctor kind of again gives you a call or you go to the doctor and check it out again or go to a nurse and check it out again it's a whole a whole procedure kind of a thing but the moral of the story is that something that started in may it got done towards october end may june july august september october Anyways, so this is literally the story of the smallest thing. Now comes the bigger problem. So what happened was that because I was walking like this the entire time, I started developing a bad posture. Now I already have a bad posture, first of all. So I started developing a bad posture. Now what happened, my shoulder blade started paining, my lower back started uh, paining, my thigh started paining and i was having so much difficulty in working or sitting in the libraries first of all four courses mind you four three courses one elective kind of a thing so almost four courses two jobs 
Thank you so much for listening to that guys but here are some tips that I was not aware about the first thing is that if you are having some sort of health problems and you think that they are not that major but you do need to speak to someone and you cannot get in consultation because all the clinics are closed and especially during this time what you can do is for example in Quebec you can call 811 not 911 911 is for emergencies so you can call 811 and you can talk to the nurse directly and they really patiently listen to everything you want to say and they give you tips on how you can combat those symptoms and relieve those symptoms rather and the second thing you can do at the same time is that when they are giving you the tips just write it down and try to you know make them work if it does not work out give them a call again and uh, what they do is they try to book you up for a virtual consultation so this has happened to me recently that's why i know the procedure and the doctor will call you over virtual consultation and give you some again some uh, prescribe you some medicines that relate to your case if he thinks there is a physical examination that is necessary or something more serious is there they refer you to a specialist so a special a general physician or a general doctor and then there is a specialist in my case it was an orthopedic surgeon or a neurosurgeon if it is something related to a pinched nerve or something of that sort like a whole lot of things and what uh, between that time he suggested me to go to a physiotherapist so again they refer me to a new physiotherapist in that process the whole file and the information goes in that direction if i want to go to the old one i can go to the old one but usually they have some 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 rules kind of a thing that goes around anyway so once and the appointment for uh, the specialist takes usually three months so if you have something serious you have to wait three months to see that doctor no shit no kidding happens very sad so this is one thing now the second thing is that if you want to get a blood test done or anything done you don't get the reports so even if you want to think that you want to self diagnose yourself which i love to do it unfortunately for everyone in my family out there what happens is that I cannot access my own records. So a doctor has to read it and again you have to go through the entire procedure and then you have to explain why you wanted to get a blood test done for the first thing. So the blood test in private hospitals can go somewhere to 500 to $1,000 in India it is 5 rupees. And people who are comparing and saying but you live in Canada, you earn in dollars you spend in dollars also and you wait a lot so you do feel bad about it and at times you just think that oh I'm not that sick let me not go to the doctor please don't do that but the good thing is that the Canadian medical or even the USA medical covers everything I'm not sure about the European countries but in general they cover everything so it's a one-time yearly cost the only cons of it is that you have to wait a long time you have to wait through the entire discomfort inconvenience have to self-diagnose it has also a lot of not only physical issues but a lot of psychological issues in my case i'm a hypochondriac so i worry about the smallest things out there but yeah so as many goods are there there are kind of bads also so in case if you think that you have some sort of health problems or underlying issues then the good thing is that if you are in India right now or some other country, get it checked and then come over here. Especially if you think you have some problems related to vision and your teeth. Dental is like, oh my god, very expensive. And it is not covered by, completely covered by your medical. So it's just like a certain percentage is covered by over here. So if you have a root canal or something, it goes around to $1,700. Not even kidding. A friend of mine had to do it and it's not an easy thing he went to india and got it done so that's another thing so thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope my experience gave you a little bit of idea of how things are over here it's not to scare you just to make sure that if you have any issues if you are back home get it checked then come over here and otherwise if you think that you don't have something serious then just call the telephone helpline and hopefully 